السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ سید ان ہولی قرآن سورہ آل عمران آیت نمبر تھرٹی ون اوز بلّہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کل ان کن تم تو ہبو نلّہ فت بونی یو بب کم اللہ و یغ فر لکم ضلوب کم و اللہ غفور الرحیم سو اللہ سائڈ کل سی دا پیپل میک دس اناؤنسمنٹ بفور دا پیپل ان کن تم تو ہبو نلّہ اف یو وانٹ دیٹ اللہ لو یو فتح بیونی دین یو شوڈ فالو می یو بب کم اللہ اللہ ویل سٹارٹ لونگ یو و یغ فر لکم ضلوب کم اینڈ اللہ ول فار گیو یو آر سینز آلسو واللہ غفور الرحیم بیکاز اللہ از دا موسٹ فار گیونگ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم از آور فیوریٹ اینڈ لولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم Respect and regard of Holy Prophet ﷺ is supreme. He is the top most of Allah's creation. When he was walking on the surface of the earth, there was no any shadow of him. I have seen in my dream also, when I saw Holy Prophet ﷺ, Sun was shining, but there was no shadow of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was walking on the surface of the earth in the sunshine, if there was heat, what was the Allah's blessings? There was a shade, a shade of uh, clouds over him. MashaAllah. So Allah's angels, they were uh, protecting him, him at every time. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was having the supreme Allah's blessed power. Like we can see only forward, but Holy Prophet ﷺ, he was to see forward and backward same like that. And when Jibreel ﷺ was coming to Holy Prophet ﷺ, he was to feel the scent of him. The fragrance of Jibreel ﷺ was coming into the feeling of Holy Prophet ﷺ. Jibreel alayhi salam, then he was before Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. The teeth of Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam, they were shining. And when they were shining, a special type of light was coming from there. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, one day and one night she was having, uh, she lost her needle. And when Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and he, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he, he opened mm, uh, the teeth just to smile and uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha with the light of smiling of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the teeth, she found her needle. MashaAllah. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam When he was sleeping, he was listening same as he was wake up. So this was other special quality which was blessed by Allah to him, mashallah. Because Holy Prophet ﷺ also said in one hadith that my heart is always wake up, even I am sleeping that time also. 
And uh, in between the shoulder of Holy Prophet وسلم, there was the stamp of Khatam an where it was written La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam. Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam, his breast was shining also and special type of light was coming from it. Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was with Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in, in a dark night. And when Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he, he removed sheet from the breast and it was shining like the full moon. And Abdullah bin Masood radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he saw it and he revealed it also. Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam when at the night of Hijrah, when he was leaving Makkah for Medina, so he left his house coming out of the house and with the finger, Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he waved his finger, he waved his finger before the people who were enemies outside his house. And with the waving of fingers, those people who were enemies and they were sitting before his house, so they became blind. They never saw Holy Prophet Sallallahu when he was moving from Makkah to Medina. If you look at the sweating of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, MashaAllah, it was uh, glittering with the smell of, uh, with the scent of uh, rose. So rose scent. A beautiful smell was coming from the sweating of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, even when Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam going to, going for excretion like, so the people sometimes they have seen there was no anything because the earth the part of the soil that was taken, that was taken, so taking the waste product of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this was the speciality of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which was blessed to him by Allah. Once Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he put his uh, uh, you know, his uh, oh, saliva in the eyes of Ali bin Abu Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So when he placed his saliva in the eyes of Ali bin Abu Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, his eyesight was so much fast that Ali bin Abu Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu he was to see the things a mile away also. Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says that Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he was to uh, sit on the camel, so camel was coming before him and sitting there and uh, automatically camel was to sit down and Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then he was to sit on the camel. So MashaAllah camels they were also obedient to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was entering in his house if there was a lock and without key it was open with the eyes of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the lock MashaAllah. When Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was to touch anything, 
so that thing was becoming so much with fragrance that it was not to last the whole day so the whole day that thing which was touched by holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was with the special type of rose smell a special type of smell which was a special smell which was not coming from anywhere but holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam touching was producing so much nice smell in that thing which was being touched by him in other revelation we found that when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was to touch anything fire was unable to burn that thing so the dress which was on the body of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it never became old it was ever green mashallah and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was generous person he was having having in his house faulty shirts and 27 sheets and all of them he distributed among the companions mashallah when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was to start eating many times a companion of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they have seen that at the end when they saw the food which was at the starting time it was remaining same at the end of eating of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mashallah holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdullah bin abbas radhi allah taala anhu he revealed that holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when after sleeping he was to wake up he was not to make wudu because the sleeping of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was just like wake wake up this way his wudu was not broken while sleeping so this was other allah's blessed speciality to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when a person who was to shake hand with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the whole day the hand of that person was with special type of smell special type of scent special type of fragrance mashallah and when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was to wipe his hand on the head of someone so that small child was recognizing with the affiliation to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was standing anywhere he was prominent from all even if a person who is with tall stature when that person was coming to stand with him but holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was to to be looked by the people the prominent and top of everyone so this was allah's other blessed speciality was blessed to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam one day holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was warm welcomed by jabir radhi allah taala anhu because he invited him in his home for food and that time holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he placed his fingers in the food and that food became enough for 4000 720 companion of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this was the blessings of allah which was inside the 
fingers of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam once he was at the door of masjid one camel came to him and he said something in his word and he was holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to the people that he was saying that uh, the people who are my owner and the relative of that person so all the whole whole tribe they are lazy in praying five times a day so when this incident uh, incident happening report came to those people they have done tauba astaghfar and they became fully obedient to pray five times a day in time mashallah once holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he went to the house of fatima radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and she was crying and uh, when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked about the reason and she said razi allah taala anha that hasan and husain ridwan allah alaihim ajmain they are insisting about the new dress because it is the time of eid holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he made a dua jibril alaihi salam came with two special dress from the paradise but they were white color so fatima to zahra radhiyallahu ta'ala anha she said hasan need the green color but husain need the red color so but they are white color how is possible they will become happy then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said bring water and water when it was brought to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he washed one white dress so that became green so that was given to hasan radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu and then holy holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he washed other white dress so after washing it became red then it was given to husain radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu mashallah so this was holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam special power that was given blessed by allah masha allah and uh, you know the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was born on monday so monday is the best day because holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in one hadith he said i am uh, i am having fasting every monday because i want to be thankful to allah because allah uh, Allah sent me in this world the day was monday so this way i want to be thankful to allah so because allah said in holy quran laqad manna allah alal mu'minin holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is special ihsan special favor for us we must be thankful to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam thank must be thankful to allah for the blessings of special favor in the form of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to having fasting on every monday so that is a good thing so this is our milad we have to do it so fasting on monday and when you are uh, sitting just at the time of fasting to open it to break a fasting that time you can call your family members other people even give them something what you have so that is like a milad of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is a good thing every monday you can celebrate like this way mashallah and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on monday when he came in this world his uh, mother amna razi allah taala anha she said she was unable to found any type of pain so alhamdulillah holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in this world so having circumcision also and also clean body mashallah at that time even the shaitan they were stopped because shaitan was going to the heaven to listen the angels 
and they were stopped not to go there. And that was Allah's own blessing to Holy Prophet Sallallahu so many. Even Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he got two special nurs of Allah, special lights from Allah, and which were not blessed to any other Prophet throughout the universe. So first is Surah Fatiha and second is last two ayat of Surah Baqarah. So a person who is just to recite Surah Fatiha and last two ayat of Surah Baqarah, these become enough for that person for every need of this world and the world hereafter. MashaAllah. A person who is regular to recite Surah Fatiha and last two ayat of Surah Baqarah every day, that person gets special Allah's blessings in the form of full guidance on sirat e mustaqim And Allah saves that person from sins and evils and make the life of that person a, a good example for others also. If you look, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for his Ummah, MashaAllah, Allah became more and more merciful because at the time of other prophets they were to worship at a fixed place but for Holy Prophet Wasallam, the whole soil, whole earth became masjid. Wherever you find there is a time of prayer, time of salah, you have to pray there, that becomes your masjid, mashallah. If you look the other special blessings of Allah, because when there is no water, then you are allowed to have tayyamum, mashallah, then you have to worship. This is other blessings of Allah. And if you look in the previous other, other prophets, when there was some drops of urine, they were coming to the body, they were to cut the part of the body. They were to cut the uh, cloth where the drops of urine was falling. But for Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ummah, Allah became merciful. You have to wash with water. Your clothes will be pure. Your body will be pure. MashaAllah. This is because of blessings of Allah's special messenger, Rahmatulil Alameen, Khatam al Nabijeen, Shafiul Muznabeen. MashaAllah, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when name of Allah comes in Azan, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam name comes with Allah's name also. Warafana laka zikrak. So Allah made special dignity to the name of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also. And Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I am Dua of Khalil, Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam, my granddad, and Isa Alayhi Salaam also made Dua for Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you look, you can see the mentioning of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Zikr of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Torah, in Bible, and other books of Allah. When Holy Prophet ﷺ, he was to move on the streets of Makkah on the way, there were stones, they were to say Assalamu Alaikum to Holy Prophet ﷺ. And stones, they were to recite La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is Allah's blessings that uh, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after shak sadr he was blessed a special invitation from Allah we call it Mirajun Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is the other blessings of Allah which has not been given to any Prophet and Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he got this special chance MashaAllah 
and look at the body of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even the fly was not to sit there and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he got allah's special blessings with his names also you can see laqad ja'akum rasulum min anfusikum عزيز عليه ما انتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف الرحيم you can say rauf is the name of allah rahim is the name of allah but allah used these names for holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam but this is the love of allah to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and even you can see in holy quran sometime allah say taha sometime allah say yasin sometime allah say ya ayyuhal muzammil sometime allah say ya ayyuhal mudassir so allah has given so much love to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this way allah said you must have love to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in one hadith he said uh, that uh, your iman will be at the stage of completion when you will have more love than any other thing in the universe with me so holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to umar bin khattab radhi allah taala anhu so we have this hadith also so we must have love with holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and follow him completely and fully you can see when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was pointing with his finger the moon was breaking into two two pieces even if you look when ali bin abu talib radhi allah taala anhu his time of asr of salah asr salah was finishing and uh, and uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw tearing he tears coming from his Uh, eyes and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam found the reason and then he said the time of asr is finishing holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said don't worry holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the finger he uh, he commanded to the sun and sun came back to the asr time and hazrat ali radhi allah taala anhu he prayed salatul asr then mashallah holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he got so much blessings of allah even the trees when he was to say something tree was trees were coming to him also and trees were saying assalamu alaikum to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once one person his name was rakana he was a wrestler in in arab areas so he is he was having so much power equal to 1000 people and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he he offered him islam he said holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said okay come in islam you will have a safety in this world and peace for the world here after also and he said i don't know anything but if you fight with me if you do wrestling with me if you will win then i will accept islam holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no problem come on and then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam within no time made him to uh, defeat and sit on him and then he said i don't know how i am defeat, defeated because no one in the in this universe have ability to defeat me but it is like a dream i still i am not uh, convinced i want to fight you again holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no problem we will fight with you again the wrestling start again the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made him to lie down again and sit on him and then he became he accepted islam and he was a good person good muslim and once uh, Uh, from the baitul mal uh, some camels were stolen by some people and at that time holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he sent more sahaba ridwanullah alaihi majmain uh, behind the thieves so that they can return back the camels to the baitul mal but that time rakana he said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't send any companion behind the thieves i am only one enough so then he went he brought back all the thieves with all camels to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
and those people they were punished according to Islam also and mashallah he was the special person in the company of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this was Rakana and Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the respect and regard of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his manners his lifestyle that is the need we have to follow this way Allah said kul in kuntum tuhibbun Allah say the people so if you want Allah love you fattabi'uni then you should follow me and mean we have to follow holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam completely and fully so in every way so we have to make our lifestyle according to lifestyle of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that we should successful in this world and the world hereafter allah give us tawfeeq ameen